Nobody likes to feel uncomfortable, especially at work. When your body's out of whack, it's hard to think straight. Spending too much time like that can start to have a bad effect on your health. Ergonomics is all about arranging our environments so we can be comfortable and safe. The right equipment helps, but you don't have to spend a fortune. Small changes can make a big impact. We'll show you how. When your body is in proper alignment, you feel better, which means you can work better. It's called a neutral body posture. Your feet are flat on the floor or on a footrest. Your knees and thighs are level or slightly lower than your hips. The small curve in your lower back is supported. Your shoulders and elbows are relaxed and resting at your sides. Hands, wrists, and forearms are straight and parallel with the floor. Your head is level and facing forward. When it comes to chairs, one size definitely does not fit all. Adjustability is the key to comfort. Raise or lower the chair height so your feet are flat on the floor. If your chair doesn't go low enough, use a footrest. Your feet should be slightly forward from the knees. Sit with your hips as far back in the chair as possible. There should be one to two inches between the backs of your knees and the front edge of the seat. If the seat's too deep, and you don't have another chair, use a lumbar wedge or pillow. There also should be one to two inches between the outside of your thigh and the side of the seat. It helps to ask a coworker to adjust the seat back while you sit in the chair. That way you'll know immediately when the fit feels right. Some chairs offer adjustable lumbar support, although a lumbar pillow is an option. Make sure the lumbar support on the chair matches the natural S-curve of your lower back. If you use the armrest, your shoulders should be relaxed, not hunched up. If the armrests get in your way, lower or remove them. Using a computer keyboard is kind of like playing the piano. The proper body posture helps prevent injuries and improves your technique. Your hands, wrists, and forearms should be level with your elbows. Like this. Not this. Or this. If you have a keyboard tray, make sure it's at the right height so that your wrists are in a straight line with your arms. Your elbows should rest comfortably at your sides at about a 90 degree angle. The keyboard tray should be level or tilted slightly down. This helps your wrists stay straight and in line with your forearms. A wireless keyboard offers the most flexibility. If the keyboard has legs, don't use them. If you don't have a keyboard tray, adjust your chair or desk height to get your arms and wrists in a neutral position. Choose a wireless mouse that fits your hand comfortably and keeps your fingers relaxed and slightly curved. Place it close and level with the keyboard. Remember, the palm rest is for quick breaks not for support while you're keyboarding. People used to think that sitting too close to the TV would make you blind. That's not true, but sitting too close or far away from your computer screen can cause eye strain, not to mention give you a pain in the neck. Make sure the monitor is directly in front of you and lined up with the keyboard. Place it at a comfortable distance for viewing. For many people, that's about an arm's length away. The top third of the monitor should be at eye level to avoid straining your neck. If you wear bifocals, trifocals, or progressive lenses, you may need to lower the monitor. A document holder helps when you're scanning between your desk and the screen. Dual monitors should be the same size and height. Think about how much time you use each monitor. If it's about the same, position them next to each other angled in slightly. 
If you use one monitor more than the other, put the primary monitor directly in front of you and the second monitor to the right or left at a slight angle. Remember, both monitors should be at a comfortable distance and height for viewing. Think about how much time you spend on the phone. In a busy office, it's hard to avoid. But you can avoid the headaches that come with poor ergonomics. Place the phone close to you. That way you don't have to reach too far to dial or answer. By the way, that works for other tasks too. Think of your desk in terms of green, yellow, and red zones. Things you use a lot, like the phone, go in the green zone. Things you use less often, like files, go in the yellow zone. And things you rarely use, like reference books, can go in the red zone. Also, don't cradle the phone between your head and shoulder. Use a headset or speaker. Being stuck in your seat for hours is no fun. It's also not good for you. At work, it's a good idea to stand up and move for a few minutes every half hour. Take walking breaks and meetings. Visit a coworker instead of instant messaging. If your job involves lots of sitting or you're uncomfortable sitting for 30 minutes or less, a sit-stand workstation might help. Options include fully adjustable freestanding desks, height adjustable mounted desktops, or a combination. A well-designed sit-stand workstation should accommodate many different users and be easy to adjust. If possible, try a few models before you commit. And remember to change your position often. Standing in one spot for too long can be just as uncomfortable and unhealthy as too much sitting. Laptops, smartphones, and other mobile devices make it easy to work pretty much anytime and anywhere we want. Just be sure you bring along your good ergonomic technique. If you use a laptop regularly for work, set up a workstation with an adjustable chair, standalone keyboard, and wireless mouse. Raise the screen to eye level. Position it to avoid glare and make sure the keyboard is at the right height so your shoulders are relaxed and your hand is at elbow level or below. Studies show we tap touch screens eight times harder than regular keys. If you have to type more than a paragraph on a touch screen device, use an external keyboard. Bottom line, while mobile devices make our lives easier in so many ways, they aren't designed to replace a proper ergonomic workstation. What's more, staring at a lighted screen late at night can disrupt your sleep pattern, so be sure to shut it off at least an hour before bedtime. If you can't afford the latest ergonomic office equipment, there are lots of ways to work smarter using what you have. If your chair is a bad fit, a lumbar cushion can help. You can use desk risers or 2x4s to raise a stationary desk to a comfortable position. If your desk is too high, raise your chair. Use a footrest if your feet don't sit flat on the floor. Don't have a footrest? A concrete block, sturdy box, or piece of wood will do. Use reams of paper or a phone book to raise your monitor to the right height. Remember to check out used office furniture suppliers and rent-to-own options and be sure to repair or replace equipment that becomes defective or outdated. What about alternative office products that advertise themselves as ergonomic? Are they really a sound investment? If you are exploring alternative workstations, here are some things to keep in mind. Treadmill and bicycle desks encourage movement and activity, but aren't designed to be used for long periods of time. 
They're also better for light tasks, such as phone calls, email, or browsing the web, than intensive writing or reading. And remember, not everyone is coordinated enough to walk or ride a bike while working. The same is true for alternative seating. Ask yourself these questions. Does this chair provide adequate support? Can I adjust the height? Will this be comfortable for long periods? What happens if the ball pops? Before you invest in alternative ergo, think about the kind of work you do and how the product will be used. Consider setting up a test station where employees can try it out and offer feedback. Whatever equipment you choose, whether it's new or used, innovative or improvised, it should be safe, comfortable, and provide the proper adjustability and ergonomic support. We've covered the basics for creating a comfortable and safe work environment, but there's lots more you can do. The right lighting can make a big difference. Use filtered lighting if glare is a problem. Task lighting can help prevent eye strain. Avoid working in the same position for long periods of time. Alternate tasks so your muscles don't get stiff and tired. Take short, frequent breaks to rest and re-energize. A 30 to 60 second break every 20 to 30 minutes is ideal for computer users. Try some simple warm-up exercises. And be sure to use the same good ergonomic techniques when you're working at home or outside the office. Being comfortable and safe at work is a shared responsibility. Employers are responsible for providing a safe and healthy workplace. But employees should help figure out what works best for them. If you'd like to learn more about office ergonomics, here are some additional resources.